Hello friends through this video we will learn the concept of principles of building planning which are very important during drawing the building drawings. If you like the video please do share it and subscribe the channel. Principles of building planning. Aspect of the rooms. Prospect from the rooms. Grouping of the rooms. Roominess of the rooms. Circulation in the building. Privacy of the rooms. Flexibility in construction. Elegance of the building. Sanitation of the building. Orientation of the building. Economy of design. Aspect. It is the configuration of various rooms, utility spaces for various purposes like study room, kitchen dining, bedroom, storeroom, puja room etc., in such a way that each of them gets exposure to surrounding in a particular direction, N, S, E, or W, through a particular arrangement of doors and windows slash ventilators slash openings provided in the exterior wall so as to derive optimum use of natural gifts such as sunlight, direct or indirect, and natural breeze, ventilation. An aspect literally means the direction from which the rooms, utility space, gets natural light or breeze. A good aspect is desirable for the rooms, utility space, as it provides comfortable conditions and cheerful atmosphere due to proper sunshine and breeze. It provides hygienic conditions as the sun rays are the potential destroyers of organic poisons and breeze ventilates the space by fresh air. Kitchen, E aspect. Dining, S aspect. Drawing slash living, S or SE aspect. Bedroom, W or SW aspect. Veranda, S or SW aspect. Reading, store, staircase, N aspect. Toilets, W or NW aspect. Prospect. Prospect is the arrangement of the windows in the exterior walls of the building so as to reveal certain desired views, hills, lakes, seashore, rivers, fountains, lawns etc., through the windows and to conceal undesired views if any. Projected windows can be provided for better prospect. Grouping. It is the arrangement of various rooms, utility spaces, with respect to their functions to achieve maximum efficiency of the building. In case of residential building the grouping should be done as follows. Living room and dining room should be close next to the porch. Kitchen and dining should be close to each other. Sanitary arrangements should be close to the bedrooms. Staircase should be approachable from each room. Passages connecting various rooms should be well lighted and ventilated. Circulation. The movement of the occupant A from one room to the other horizontally on the same floor or B the movement of the occupant vertically to different floors is known as A horizontal circulation or B vertical circulation. Horizontal circulation is achieved by passages, corridors, lobbies etc. interconnecting various rooms slash utility spaces. Vertical circulation is achieved by stairs, ramps, escalators etc. interconnecting different floors. For better circulation, the following points should be considered. All the passages should be short, straight, sufficiently lighted and ventilated to achieve maximum convenience and comfort. Stairs should be accessible from entrance and all the rooms and should be provided with proper dimensions of rise, tread and landings. Passages should not disturb the privacy of the rooms when being used. Privacy. This is very important factor to be considered while planning both residential as well as public buildings. Privacy of one room from another in a building as well as privacy of the whole building with other building should be achieved. 
The privacy of residential building as a whole can be achieved by planting trees and by providing entrance. Even the compound wall of required height can be constructed to provide privacy of trespassers. Privacy in different rooms can be achieved by 1. Proper grouping of rooms 2. Proper positioning of doors and windows Roominess It refers to the effect produced by obtaining maximum benefit of space from the minimum dimensions of the room. It is the virtual feeling of more space than actual available, achieved by proper proportioning of room dimensions, proper sizes, and placement of the furniture, proper painting with different colors to different walls, proper lighting with diffused light in selected zones of the room etc. Rectangular rooms should be preferred over square rooms. The L-B ratio should be from 1.2, 1.5. The L-B ratio should not be more than 1.5, as it produces tunnel effect. The longer walls should be exposed to diffused light, direct or indirect, and the shorter walls should be exposed to very mild intensity of light. Lighter shade colors to the walls produces the effect of more roominess than dark colors. Small rooms should not be provided with excess headroom. Lighting. It can be natural light as that obtained from the sun during the day or artificial light. Adequate illumination is essential in day-to-day -day activities for the safety, comfort, and efficiency. Good visibility is a must for accident prevention, comfortable watching and reading to reduce fatigue, avert confusion and efficient security. Elegance. It is the appearance effect created by the elevation of the building by the virtue of its architectural design. The factors contributing to the elegance are Proper proportioning of the rooms, LB and H Positioning of doors and windows, staircase Use of designer grills in windows, balconies staircase halls etc. Use of projected surfaces, offsets to walls, design in plaster like sand facing etc. Use of sloped roofs. Use of designer doors and windows. Painting in elegant color shades and styles. Use of high level plinth with slopping corridors. Use of arches in entrance. Sanitation. It is the provision of hygienic and clean conditions inside as well as in the surrounding of the building. It can be achieved by the following factors. Natural light. Ventilation. Damp-free construction. Waste disposal system. Periodic external coloring. Cleanliness of the surroundings. Furniture requirement. One of the most important requirement of a building planner is to know how much space is needed by each function in a particular building. The room sizes for a particular function can be completed on the basis of permanent furniture to be used in the room. Hence while planning a building furniture arrangement must be shown. Flexibility. It is nothing but planning the rooms in such a way that they can be clubbed together whenever required or can be isolated after the purpose. Flexibility of rooms is essential when the space available for planning is less. It can be achieved by portable slash sliding slash folding partitions or simply by curtains. Economy of design. It is an important principle of building planning to keep the estimated cost within the limit of the client's budget. This can be achieved by optimization in planning, selection of raw materials, construction processes etc. Orientation of structure. Orientation of the building means positioning the plan of the building with respect to geographical direction, the direction of the wind and the altitude of sun to get the maximum comfort from the sun and air. It is preferred to have EW orientation of the building I.E. Longer walls aligned to EW direction to give proper light and ventilation to north and south faces by providing openings in these directions.
proper orientation of building. Thank you for watching the video if you like it please do share it and subscribe the channel.